analog piece of shit. Happy Halloween, everyone. I'm Benedict Terry. Blah blah blah. Betty Boop Mini the Moocher. It's strangely fitting to think my 13th review is a Halloween special. Anyway, as I've mentioned in a previous review, three Betty Boo cartoons featured music from jazz legend Cab Calloway, and Minnie the Moocher was the first of these. Another one of Betty Boop's more popular cartoons, many people point to it as an example of what the Fleischer Brothers could achieve before the Hayes Code came in, when they're not thinking of Swing You Sinners, of course. Well, since my review of Swing You Sinners is my most popular video, I might as well milk it for all it's worth. Right, let's see what terrors await us this time. Now, after Cab Calloway's introduction, we open the short on a rather aggressive argument at the dinner table. Perfect for a Halloween special, nothing scarier than angry parents. Betty, like most teenagers, is at odds with her old world parents, and she isn't keen on her house and pfeffer either. <laughs> That's Betty Boop for you, men will literally die for her. No longer able to bear her father, Betty runs off crying. That's Betty Boop for you, she's got a song for any situation. But I know what I'll do, by and by, I'll eat some worms and then I'll die. Betty writes her heartbreaking goodbye letter. Nice callback. And after writing it, she calls her boyfriend. Betty leaps down to see her boyfriend, Bimbo, who you may remember for being emotionally tortured in Swing You Sinners. I did say I'd mention it when I could. And off they go. At first, their going is easy. But as they go further into unknown areas, things start getting pretty scary. So they hide in a cave. I'm not afraid. Are you Bimbo? No. Betty and Bimbo go deeper into the cave, when suddenly... Folks, now here's a story about Minnie the Moocher. She was a red-hot hoochie-coocher. I wish my nightmares involved jazz music and weirdly rotoscoped walruses. Yep, this is good for Halloween. Even so, it's still more restrained than Swing You Sinners. Yes, I just said it again. Let's see what else it has to offer. She messed around with a blob named Smokey. She loved the himbo, he was cocky. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. That was a straight up cocaine reference. In a classic cartoon, and not even a subtle one, just BAM, he's cokey. Anything else to declare, cartoon? He took her down to Chinatown. He showed her how to kick the gong around. Kick the gong around, huh? Well, that explains what the Fleischer staff were doing to come up with stuff like this. The scary imagery continues with ghost prisoners being electrocuted and a ghost cat being milked dry. And they tell me that cartoons are just for kids. These visions leave Betty and Bimbo so terrified they flip to negative colour. Okay, not as strong as suing you sinners, but still- ah! Betty and Bimbo are immediately chased out of the cave, with the ghosts in hot pursuit. <laughs> and while Bimbo leaps into a doghouse, Betty rushes back to the safety of her room, probably too scared to leave the house again. And after what we've seen, I wouldn't blame her. Okay, so what are my thoughts on this? 
While this cartoon isn't quite as dark as Swing You Sinners, this one actually has a sort of happy ending, it still comes close with its abundance of dark twisted imagery accentuated by the slow bluesy jazz music. The rotoscoping of Cab Calloway's dance moves on a cartoon walrus may be very uncanny, but given the horror context it works really well and makes perfect sense. The rest of the animation is great as well, and the surreal imagery is imaginatively unnerving. Like Swing You Sinners, the supernatural horror, as well as the drug references, won't be to everyone's taste, but regardless, like Swing You Sinners, this is also a fascinating piece of cartoon history. In conclusion, I just want to say thanks to everyone who's liked and subscribed so far. I've had my most successful year on YouTube so far this year, and to celebrate I will be doing not one, but two Christmas reviews. Lucky me, that means whatever's coming up is going to be light, whimsical, and... Oh. This isn't light. This isn't light at all. In fact, this might actually be darker than Swing You Sinners. After what I've been through this year and the year before, I think I can revisit this one again without issue. I hope. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Do not let it in.